Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Dredge. Well, last time we went on a terrifying trip down to Gale Cliffs, and it was a little bit scary, wasn't it? There were rock falls, and also a giant serpent monster that wanted to eat us for breakfast. But on the plus side, we did get what we went for. We found the music box for the collector, he was very happy with that. And also, we did reunite two feuding brothers, so that was quite nice as well. But now look at that, we're back home in Greater Marrow, in relative safety, I would say. And the current plan is to try to get enough bits and bobs to upgrade our boat over the dry dock. I think that's going to be very important. So if we get a lovely tier 2 hull upgrade, it's going to give us five extra cargo spaces, which is going to be very helpful indeed, but also, possibly more important than that, it means that the hull can sustain one additional impact. Because we did get hit a little bit last time by the big serpent monster, that came and kind of bashed into us a bit. But also, you might have possibly noticed last time, I did sort of maybe crash into a few rocks, mostly in a blind panic when I was trying to run away from things, but I did sort of hit a few rocks. So we could do with that additional impact to sustain you know, hits from the big monsters and also hits because I can't drive a boat around very well. So I think that's what we have to try to work toward. We're going to need $500 to do that. And I think we're sort of almost there with that, but we do need two bits of wood and two bits of cloth. So I think, yeah, we do need to head out there and pick up some bits from in the sea, but we also need to do some fishing. How much money have we got? How much cash have we got? We've got 465 money, which is okay, I suppose. How's the crab pot doing? The crab pot's going to last for three days. Okay, so that's been repaired. That's quite good. Um, is it worth maybe investing some money now in a few crab pots? In fact, hang on. Go to research. What can we do in terms of crab pots? Could we get an efficient crab pot? Is that going to be better than what we've got? Or what's that one? A hardy one? Ah, okay, hang on a minute. So the efficient one lasts for three days and the yield is two to three crabs per day. Okay, so that's quite good and it can hold four by four. Okay, so we've got 16 spots. That one... The hardy one is 4 by 4 The yield is less, but it lasts for six days. So we could just leave that around. And that one there is a large one. It lasts for three days, two per day, but it's bigger. So we might be able to hold more things before we need to empty it. I quite like the sound of the hardy one. Just buy, I don't know, two of those, drop them in the sea, leave them for six days, and then just go and pick up all the goodies at the end. I quite like the idea of that. We've upgraded our engine. We've got that done. Uh, we can't do too much with nets right now because that's going to have to go where our dredging equipment is. No, not the dredging equipment, the ocean sort of fishing equipment. So I don't think we're going to use that right now. I think let's get us a hardy crab pot. Got a couple of research parts. Let's get that done. Okay, so now we can buy that in stores. I think that might be quite a good idea. So is it the ship right that's got those? I think it might be. Hang on. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. Uh, what was that? What was that? It's the jet drive engine. Okay, it's the fancy jet drive engine that we unlocked last time. So they're $300 for one individual jet drive engine, but they do give us nine and a half speed, nine and a half knots. So um, yeah, overall, that's going to be much better than these engines because of course they take up two spots and they're generating that one there, 14.7 and that one 15.8. So they would be quite good to get on board, but okay. Um, hang on, yeah, there's a net look. And then we've got big fancy lights as well. Look at that, 2,100 lumens of light and 30 meters of range. So the moment we've got, uh, hang on, what's that? 1,500 lumens of light, I think, yeah. 1,500 lumens of light at 20 meters range. So we could do with maybe upgrading the lights as well. We need to just do a little bit of sort of you know, money gathering and ship maintenance, I would say. That's what we need to do. We need sort of, what, three or four days of just doing some stuff to make the boat a bit better. Uh, oh, yeah, the, hang on a minute. It's the fishmonger with the, um, the fancy pot things, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we'll buy one of those, please. We shall have one of those. So pop them in like that. Um, yeah, here we go. Oh, actually, do you know what? It's a bit later. Although... Hang on, we are in the nice safety of Grey Tomorrow. So what we could do is, we could just poodle over here for now. And we're relatively quick, because we've got these slightly fancier engines. So we could go over here, look, and drop some of the pots. So we could drop one just there, for example. That'll do. So, uh, yeah, hang on a minute. So crab pot. Uh, deploy a crab pot, which will passively catch crabs over time. 
How do we pick which crab pot we want? I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, so it says crab pot. Uh, okay, we'll, ju we'll just drop that one. Okay, that's the hardy one. And then can we just put the other one, say, I don't know, there? That'll do. Just drop a couple of those out. That's fine. And then maybe on the way back, if we just head over there, look. Oh, oh, hang on. There's something exciting going on over there. We're not supposed to be going over here, but there's an exciting thing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, right, exciting thing. Reveal yourself before I get terrified by something else. Right, hang on a minute. Uh, we'll miss the thing. Right, we're just going to do this as quick as we can. Uh, okay, right, that is a black grouper. Okay, lovely. Right, just try and get this as quick as we can. Is there some sort of... Is there a yellow fish at the bottom of this somewhere? Is that what we're looking for, possibly? Hang on, it's a boob, boob, boob. Uh, oh, uh, there we go. It's a mutated one. It's a mutated one. Ah, okay. We do have a slight technical issue. Um, can we... Um, okay, we can't do anything with that one. I don't think we've got enough room in the boat, and I don't think we can rejig things to get one of those on board. No, because these things are all kind of permanent fixtures. That's where the five extra spots would come in useful. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's okay. We're not going to go too far away because, you know, scared. And um, there's some eels. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Are they... Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We've not got our lights on. We've not got our lights on. That's a silly idea. Yay for the lights. Um, I think... Do we want to catch one of these? Uh, what did the person want? Hang on a second. They wanted a conger eel. Okay, so do we have a conger eel in here? Are these conger eels? Uh, they're grey eels. Okay, we might be able to get one more of those, possibly. We might be able to get one more. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. A little teeny tiny haul, just to pass some time before we then go to bed. Although it is quite late. It is quite late. Hang on. That rock is... Is that rock not real? That rock isn't real. Um, okay, do you know what? We've got a little bit of money. That rock, look, that rock just kind of phased out of existence, look. It's, is that rock a, an illusion? We're going to drive into this rock and we're going to see if we go through it. We are, no, okay, no, we do crash into that rock. So maybe it's the, maybe the rock is real, but we can't see it. It's being kind of, our vision is being obscured, so we can't see the rock. Oh, that's a little bit worrying, isn't it? Oh, that's not good. And we lost one of our reels, and the hull is damaged. But there we go, we did that for science. I crashed the boat then, but kind of on purpose. That was an intentional crashing of the boat. Um, right, okay. Sell all these terrifying looking things. 157 money, thank you very much. And um, yeah, maybe then. Do we need to get the boat fixed up? Only 30. That's fine. It had a teeny tiny bit of a hole in it. That's okay. Right, go to bed. This is going to be lovely. And then we're just going to have a nice day of fishing. Just a nice day of doing some fishing and dredging and such like. Uh, we'll go past those because we could potentially do some slightly deeper water fishing. Like over here, for example. Uh, we could go and grab one of these. It's oceanic fishing. And these are actually pretty good things. We could fit. Can we get another one of those in? We did before, didn't we? We had to do some sort of crazy Tetris. There we go. Right, so they're quite good. They're quite good hauls. And then I think if we just head back this way, maybe we'll just do some fishing over here. I don't know. Just grab some stuff. Check our pot. Uh, oh, a giant crab. Uh, okay, put that into there. Uh, best go back to the um, best go back to the fishmonger. We've got no room left on the boat. Okay, Fishmonger, we've got stuff to sell you. Oh, that's a wonderful haul. Look at that. $224.72. Yeah, absolutely. We will have that. Thank you very much. Okay, right. So there we go. Go back out. I mean, yeah, the ocean fishing is the way to go. That's where you get the big bucks from the bigger fish. We could buy, yeah, we could uh, catch lots of little fish, but that doesn't really give you the rewards. So that's only one fish that we catch there, which takes you know, less time than catching, say, ten of the littler ones. And uh, yeah, you do get quite a lot for it. Uh, these are cod, aren't they? But that is a fancy golden cod, which is quite good. It's a trophy cod. Um, yeah, where are the big things? They're not big. Is that a kind of an ocean thing over there? Are you big fish? Are you some big fish? Oh, okay, hang on. There's a mutant. Okay, your cod but we might be able to find a mutanty cod over here, which could be quite good. Because, uh, yeah, they do sell quite well. OK, 
Okay, hang on, pop that into there. That's not the strange one. Okie doke, got another one here. That's not the strange one either. It must be... Oh, botherations. I'm terrible at fishing. Um, is it you? No. Bother. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't think we can fit another cod in. I don't think we can fit another one in. Yeah, we need the bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Okay, right back we go to the fishmonger. Let's sell that stuff on. Another $93. That's very good. Thank you very much. Okay, now what time is it? It's half past four. Okay, right. So I think we might be able to get out there a little bit more. Maybe if we head over to the crab pots and just see if they've got anything for us. So that crab pot there, have you picked anything else up? No. That's going to remain for five days because that's a hardy one. So I can just hang around for a while. This one has got one of the big crabs in it. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, where did that go in the thing? No, hang on. Can we rejig that so it tucks into that corner? That's very good. Um, and then I don't want to go too far away. Um, oh, okay. Hang on. There's potential for a, a weird one over here as well. Uh, oh, but it's just gone to six o'clock and I think it's all gone away. No, oh, boo. Okay, right. What we could do then... What we could do is head over to where the fish are because they might possibly either still be fish or they could turn into squid. I think they are squid now. And do you know what? That's okay. Ooh, a brood squid. It's one of the horrible ones. Okay, right, that's fine. We get more money from those. That's very helpful. Uh, yeah, we just stock up on squid if we can because, again, it just earns us some money and that's useful. Right, there we go. Just catch another one. That's all depleted. Okay, but we have got some good stuff to go back with. And I think as well, we can still catch some more squid over here. We should have enough time to maybe catch another couple of squid on the way back. Okay, yeah, this is fine. So grab you and grab you. And then we've got one more room for one more in the boat. There we go. Right, final trip to the fishmongers for the day. It's been a proper day of actually just fishing. We've just done regular fishing stuff today, which sort of is what we should do because it really is our job around here. Right, Fishmonger, another 142 monies. Absolutely wonderful. That's very good. Uh, I think then, for now, we'll go to bed. So I think we've got enough money to do the upgrade and to also patch up our ship a little bit when it comes to it. So now we need to go looking for resources we need to go and do some dredging to get some wood and also some cloth we need some rolls of cloth okay what's around here what are you oh hang on a minute hang on though you are potentially those big quite expensive fish yeah okay we like these these are quite good because these generate good money um do you know what we'll have that and then if we could just nip over here and catch these this is going to be fine. So another little mini haul. And then we'll go and do some dredging. Okay, can we fit any cod in? Um, one. We can fit... Oh, hang on, hang on. No, we might have to fit two in. We can fit two cod in. So I think... Okay, hang on. That's what we'll do. Catch us another cod. And then we'll go back to the fishmonger again. He's potentially going to be sick of the sight of us. But I suppose he is a fishmonger. He kind of needs us to do his stuff. So, okay, right back we go. More selling. And another $208. Thank you very much. That's very good. So, we've now got over $1,000. That's really, really good. That might be the most money we've ever had. Right, so now I think we can go and pick up some bits and bobs. Yeah, we need some wood and some rolls of cloth. And I did notice over there, I think that is some wood that we could go and dredge. Fairly certain that's some wooden bits and bobs. Yeah, we'll do some dredging here. Yeah, that's definitely big kind of bits of lumber or wood or whatever it is. But, okay, so grab as much of this as there is. Only one bit. Okay, never mind. It's better than no bits at all. So now I think, yeah, let's head around the back of the island over here. That also looks like sort of junk stuff. So we'll grab that as well. That's componenty bits. We've got enough of those to do what we need. But do you know what? Doesn't hurt to have some more, does it? They could be quite useful at some future point. There we go. Uh, yeah, cloth. Cloth and more wood is what we're looking for. Can we find any of that around? Hang on a second. I think we found some more shiny rocks. So we found a few of these last time and they didn't do anything. We kind of put our hands on them and they didn't do anything at all. So are these the same sorts of thing? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Okay, so reach out and put a hand on the stone, and we'll see if it does anything. It does not respond to our touch. Okay, so either either we have to go and sort of put our hands on these in a particular order, or 
they only work at night, is what I'm thinking. Maybe we have to come out here at night to put our hands on those to see if that does anything at all. That might possibly work. Oh yeah, and there's this here, look. There's that right there. We need to go and buy some explosives from the other island, from one of the brothers that we united, and then we can, um, yeah, get rid of that. We can blow up that kind of blockage and go and see what's in there. That might be worth doing. That could be quite good. Um, any bits of junk lying around? Any bits of junk? Flotsam and jetsam and all that kind of stuff? Anything around? It is getting a bit late. It's possibly a terrifying fish over here, but also the big terrifying monster thing might come around as well. Hang on a second, just try and catch this. Um, is that the mutant one? No, botherations. Okay, we're going to possibly run away from here. Oh no, we didn't do that very well. Um, okay, but well, we've got the terrifying one. We've got the mutant one. It's time to run away. It's got dark. Head toward the lighthouse. Head toward the lighthouse. We know the deal with this now. Uh, yeah, we do need to go and find... There's some more weirdness happening over here. With the mutanty fish in there somewhere. Um, right, I think if we just come around here... Dodge around those rocks. We know are there. That's fine. We know those rocks are there. Come through here. The rock that was there that we crashed into isn't there anymore. That's a bit confusing. Okay, and then just pearl into dock. And there we go. Right, go to the fishmonger. Sell all that stuff. Another 60 monies. That's not too shabby at all. And then if we go to the dry dock. So if we click on that, we can pick that up and put that in there immediately. That's quite good. Okay, so we're working our way toward that and then go to our storage, pick up the nuts and bolts, whatever it is, metal scraps, and that's them in as well. Okay, that's quite good. It would be good if we could possibly... Can we sell that weak valve engine? We don't really want that because that takes up three of our engine slots and it's just one engine. It only generates 18.9 knots. So I think possibly, can we put that in there? Can we then... We can't sell it, I don't think. I'd like to sell that if we could. To cargo, it says. If we press that, what does that mean? Couldn't find space for the item. Oh, okay, right, I see. So we can't actually do anything with that. It's just going to sit there for a bit. Okay, took that into the corner. In fact, took it into the corner properly. That can just kind of, do you know what? Put that in like that to make it look organised. That can just kind of hang around in the corner over there. Okay, right. Another bit of a sleep. In fact, quite a long sleep. That was an okay night for us. Uh, let's maybe go out round the back of Little Marrow and see if we can find any exciting bits and bobs there. And then we actually, do you know what? We need to check the crabbing pots because they might be full of wonderful things. Hang on a second. Go to the crabbing pots. Oh, there are many things in there. Okay, that's quite exciting. Um, right, sort that out properly. Oh, this is going to be some excellent money. This is going to be very good. That can tuck into there. And then anything in that one. Just a couple of little crabs. Wonderful. Okay, right. Back to the fishmonger. Actually, hang on. Hang on. Is it not worth just picking these up while we're here? Just to get even more cash because that's what we need. Hang on a second. Just grab one more of these and then we'll go back to the fishmonger. Hello, fishmonger. We'll have 160 monies. Thank you very much indeed. Right, we're now on 1,286 money. That is really, really good. So yeah, now I think... We'll head around the back of Little Marrow over there. It might be worth to hurry things along a bit. Hang on. Where's our speedy yuppie thing? What's that? Haste. Okay, so if we do that, and then it was right click, wasn't it? Yeah, so that makes us get a bit of a wriggle on. But as long as we make sure that we don't go into, into the red bit on the top there, on that bar that builds up, we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Right, here's some stuff. Okay, so dredge this. This is... Ooh. This is more goodies. Okay, that's interesting. Right, so we've got that. Um, yeah, so place, rotate, or discard. A few people in the comments were saying, oh yeah, put your jewellery in your storage or something, but I don't quite know how, look. I can either pick it up or discard it. It's got to go into here. I don't think we can put it into storage right away, but okay, never mind. Um, and then over there, what's that? That looks like bits of wood. Oh, that's just more bits of metal. Okay, we're, we're good for metal bits. Can we, can we get some wood and stuff instead? And okay, we'll take it because it could be useful. But yeah, we need cloth rolls and bits of wood. If you would be so kind, Ocean, to divulge such things. Uh, oh, it's a research part. Oh, absolutely. Do you know what, though? We'll take that. Thank you, Ocean. That's really good. We like those because then we can get shiny new things unlocked. And then another uh, block of stuff. Okay, that's plenty of that. 
Um, right. We are running out of places nearby to find wood and such like. There's got to be a bit round here somewhere, surely. Okay, no, I couldn't find anything at all, which is a little bit sad. So I think let's pull into the dock and we'll drop all of that stuff off. So, uh, yeah, put that into there and we'll drop that into there. And, uh, yeah, we will put the old iron chain into here. We'll go and sell that eventually. And also, yeah, put the research part over here. So if we do get hit by something, or if we possibly hit a rock, if a rock jumps out at us, like they often do, um, yeah, that doesn't fall overboard or whatever. Okay, right. I have a bit of a plan. So have a rest right now. This is going to be lovely. Have a lovely, lovely sleep. Quite a long sleep for us. You know, need it. You know, catching up on our beauty sleep. And I think we head out and go in the right direction to Gale Cliffs. Because there was a bit round the back of Gale Cliffs, which had the, um, it was some sort of pirate thing, wasn't it? There was some sort of pirate battle, and there was quite a lot of stuff there that we didn't have time to get round to. So I think yeah, if we head over there, right, are we heading in the right direction? Because we didn't go that way last time initially. Uh, oh, it's quite a, um, it's quite a sort of, a, oh, it's a bit wavy round at the minute, isn't it? Okay, hang on. So if we do that, and we just sort of tonk along a little bit quicker... Yeah, it does get, you get the kind of red panic borders going on if that gets too high. Look, so at the moment it's all lovely and it's fine. You do that. Oh, there's some whales. There's some whales. Yeah, red panic borders appearing. Don't like that so much. Get that back down. But yeah, it is quite a long trip. Look, it's quite a long trip. So just keep doing that. And yeah, just make sure it never gets to the top. And I think we should be fine. I think the engines will be fine and our sanity will be okay. So let's just do a little bit more of that just to get to where we need to go nice and quick. In fact, you know what? We could stop off over here at whatever that place was called. I've forgotten. Ingfell? Was it Ingfell? Something like that. Um, we'll stop off here because from the whaling yards, we can pick up some more explosives. So yeah, we could just do with a little bit of that. So if we take one lot of that, when we pop back to our home island... We can use that and get into that little lagoon thing. So that could be quite useful. And it might be worth just picking up another bit and another bit. And just maybe keeping that in storage. And we don't have to come all the way back here to grab it. Okay. Right. That's fine. That, in fact, hang on. My storage. Can we not just, uh, yeah, put it in storage? What I've just said. Keep it all clear. There you go. It's in storage. Wonderful. And then undock. Because it is only 11.50 something or other. It's coming to lunchtime. I think we'll be okay. Ah, here we go. Already, there's something here which I think we need. Of course, we do have to be... Oh, not more junk. <laughs> it's more metal stuff. If it's a research part, we'll gladly take that. It's more of that. Okay, fine. Um, okay, we have to watch out for the terrifying monster thing, of course. It might come to get us. And, okay, fine. This is... I mean, it's all good. But I just kind of want the other stuff now. We've got plenty of scrap bits and bobs. Okay, right. We haven't got any room for anything else. Let's go back over here and pop that into storage. Okay, there we go. The storage locker does appear to be quite full of metal scraps. We could do with maybe using them up on something or other. But okay, that's fine. And now we're at a tricky point in the day. It's five o'clock in the evening. We're not going to have enough time to get all the way around the back and look at where the pirate battle thing happened. So I think we take the lovely, easy, safe, calm, not losing our mind way of things. And we have a lovely long rest over here in Ingfall. We'll have a chat with the people here. We'll you know, drink in the tavern and such like. It's going to be lovely. And there we go. Six o'clock in the morning. We can now go out and have an entire day of dredging. That's what we need to do. Yeah, it was back around here. Oh, that's perfect. That is what we need right there. Bits of wood. Yes, this is wonderful. Okay, right, yeah, we'll have all the bits of wood. Thank you very much. And just grab that. Um, Okay, that's a research part. That wasn't a bit of wood. That was a surprise, but okay. No, we like that as well. That's all fine. Right, there we go. That's what we want, bits of wood. We'll take another one, thank you, because no doubt we're going to need some more of that. And then, yeah, this might be the last bit. There's still more. Okay, right. Happy with that. We'll gladly take that. Lots more resources is good stuff. Okay, that's now depleted, but we did get three bits of wood and a research part out of it. So that's not too shabby at all. And then I think it was over there, wasn't it? Was it round the other side of that island there? Is there something in the water there? There's a couple of things, actually. What's that? That's fish. And that's fish. Okay, 
That's fine, because you know that's where you're supposed to be. That's all good. That's some fish as well. Was it round here? Oh, hang on. I think the there's a rock fall happening. I think there's a rock fall happening somewhere. It's round here. There it is. Okay, it's over there. There's the giant terrifying monster. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay, right. It, it's sort of chasing us a little bit. Um, there's a dock there. Can we get to that dock and then just hide? Can we get to there and hide? Dock, quickly, before the monster gets us. Right, there we go. We're just going to wait until it goes away. <laughs> I don't like the terrifying fish. Let's wait until the picture goes back to normal, not its kind of weird, wibbly self. We've been here before, of course, but yeah, it's a handy thing to have around here. We can just sort of hide out around the back of these islands. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, undock. And Doc, hopefully it's gone away. And uh, yeah, this has got to be the scene of the, the thing, hasn't it? The pirate battle. Because there's loads of wreckage around and some bits and bobs. So, okay. Uh, ooh, shinies. Okay, this is good. Ooh, and it's going very quick. So this could be pretty good. Hopefully we can get some good stuff out of this. It's just a ring, but that's okay. That's okay. Better than nothing. Better than nothing at all. And what else can we get? We need cloth. Is that rolls of cloth? I think it might be. I think that might be. Yes, it is. That's perfect. That's what we need. Um, did that boat behind us just kind of hove into view out the back there? I'm always a little bit paranoid about doing this. That we're going to get got by the big terrifying monster. Hurry up and do this really quick. Dredge like you've never dredged before. Right, dredgety dredge. And we'll do one more. We will be potentially a bit greedy. Might come to bite us in the bottom at some point. But it's looking okay right now. And okay, depleted. Put that there. And we're having a bit of a panic. Um, and, oh, oh, okay, wibbly things. Wib wibbly things are over there. Don't like the wibbly red things. Just going to, uh, just going to go to bed. We're just going to play it the safest of all the things and just, you're yeah, going to have a nice sleep again. And I think, how much room have we got in the thing? So undock, how much room do we have? So there's some stuff over there, like, is what I'm thinking. So we've got a teeny tiny bit of room. I think he might have possibly just caught the back of the boat on the thing there, but um, that is, that's more rolls of fabric. Oh, hang on a minute. We don't know if that's, that's a big load of, unless it's a yeah, research part. We'll gladly take that. Okay, we're going to put that there. That looks like, oh yeah, maybe that is just sheets of metal. Yeah, we don't want metal. We're after cloth, really. Um, okay, right. Can we find anything else? Anything else around the back of here, maybe? And then I do have... A little bit of a plan. There's some shiny rocks there. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Hang on. I know it's only very early, but potentially, is it worth just hanging around for a long time? And then at night time, nipping out from the makeshift dock to the... Oh, there's a thing. Uh, nipping out from the makeshift dock over to those rocks and give them a quick poke and see if they do anything at night time. Uh, hang on. What's this? What's that? Hello, an altar breaks through the waves at the base of the cliff. Three crab-like creatures are carved into it. The largest is covered in rocks and other strange shapes. Okay, so they want three, uh, three crabs? Is that what they're after? Crab-like creatures. Okay, we can't do it right now. How would you fit them in, though? Because it doesn't look like they'd fit. There's not an even space. You can't divide eight by three. How does that work? I don't know how that works. Okay, right. That's interesting. So we might have to come back and look at that potentially. Uh, I think is there anything else we can go and grab? Let's just kind of have a quick look around just to see if we can grab any bits and bobs. Hey, we're going to head into that kind of lagoon thing, weren't we? We never went there. That's some fish over there. Um, okay. Do you know what? We're okay right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the mystical magical powers that the Collector gave us. Because I think if we go to there, manifest, teleport yourself back to where it all began. So I think now if we do that, use that, we'll... Oh, okay. And now we're back here. That's really useful. That's really useful. Okay, so yeah, we're over at the Collector's place. And then we can just head over here, look, and it's all going to be wonderful. It's all sorted. Oh, that's very good. We're a little bit panicked. We're a tiny bit panicked because we did just sort of teleport a little bit, which is understandable. Um, right, here we go. Let's go and upgrade our boat. Let's go and get that done. This is going to be very good. Okay, so there we go. Go over into the dock. 
Okay, so go to the dry dock, go to new hull, and we can put that bit of wood in, and we can put that in, and we can put that bolt of cloth in, and now we can purchase the upgrade for our hull. Perfect. Yes, please. We've now got a bigger boat. Oh, that's very good. Okay, let's take a quick look then. So, my storage. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit bigger. There's more room down here, look. That, oh, hang on. The engines have been kind of reconfigured. They're sort of down here now, which is quite good. Uh, right. I think, what time is it? Uh, half About half one in the afternoon. So, I wonder, is it worth... So, store that away. Store that away. Store that away. That And that as well, actually. Another research part going in. Picking up those nice and quick. That's good. Um, we'll pop that in there as well, just to make sure we don't lose that. Is it then worth, hang on, I forgot to pick up the thing I'm going to talk about, grabbing that and then just heading around the other side of this island and seeing what's in that kind of little, sort of, you know, uh, I don't know, closed off lagoon type thing around here. I think it might be worth just checking that out. Oh, and now we find a pile of useful bits and bobs on the way, do we? Okay, fine. Do you know what? We'll pick it up while we're going by. It's nice and near to home. Okay, there we go. We've picked up some cloth. However, it is getting a little bit late. So hopefully we're not going to run into the terrifying kind of um, anglerfish boat monster thing. Right, inspect that, get a pile of loose debris, and here, use the explosives, please. So you set the charge and light the fuse. Boom, it goes out of the way. It crumbles away. Right, in here nice and quick. What's this? What is that just there? We want to dredge this, please, because that's going to be really useful. Crikey, that's fast. Okay, right. Whoa, my goodness me. <laughs> oh, and it takes ages to do the dredging as well. Okay, fine. Uh, and, oh, it's a piece of that fancy metal. It's a piece of the refined metal. Okay, that is really useful. However, right, do you know what we need to do? We need to, oh, there's the, there's the ghost boat thing. Okay, right, head back this way really quickly. The big anglerfish thing disguising itself as a boat is coming for us. Run away. Oh, rock, rock just there. There's a rock there. Don't, don't crash into the rocks. Uh, okay, some exciting fishing to be had there, but not for us right now. Thank you very much. There's the ghost boat over there now. It's over there. Um, bit late. Do you know what? We're going to go home. Let's go home and just, uh, yeah, drop off our things. And then, again, have a lovely early night. Just a nice early night so we don't lose our mind. Okay, brand new day rolls around. It's day 30. It's a Tuesday. That's good to know. And I think maybe we might have to use up some of the things in storage because we are filling it up quite rapidly. Mostly with metal scraps, to be fair. There's quite a lot of those. But a bit of cloth and a bit of wood and what have you. And also, three more research parts. So we could potentially use those and free up some room as well. But is it worth... Now we do have a little bit of money as well. Going back to the dry dock and just seeing what we can do with these. So three more rod spaces, some more cargo spaces. Oh, that could be quite good. Or another engine slot. That's quite cheap. That's 75 monies. Do you know what? We can get that done. I think we get that done right now. So go to storage and we'll have a bit of metal there and a bit of metal right there. Bit of wood, bit of wood. Purchase that upgrade. So now we can have one additional engine slot. Um, it would be good if we could have that, but I think we're all out of wood. Do you know what we'll do? We'll fill it up with what we do have. So there we go. That frees up room over here. That's not too bad at all. So put that, put that in. There we go. So two bits of wood, and then we can get some more cargo space, which again is really handy. Um, but yeah, now I've got another engine space. Is it worth going over to you and getting us... A fancy jet drive engine. We can put that there. Look, it fits in that one teeny tiny space. And that's going to give us an additional nine and a half knots. That's worth doing, I think. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have that. Install that over an hour. And there we go. We've got another little bit of boaty speed going on. In fact, what are we at now? 66.2 knots. That seems good to me. That seems pretty speedy, if I'm being honest. So there we go. That's wonderful. We've got a slightly bigger boat, and now it can also go a little bit quicker as well. Marvellous. Okay, one job we didn't do down at Gale Cliffs was to go and get a conger eel, and then let it go a bit mouldy, and then give it to that resident, because apparently that's some sort of local delicacy or something. So we could go and do that, and then maybe, while we're down there, we could then maybe try to catch some of these fish. Because they're down there too, I think. Maybe not all of them, but maybe some of them. So we might be able to go and do some of that as well. And that might give us some cash and such like that. Could be quite useful. And we might pick up some of the bits and bobs on the way. So that could be quite good. I mean, our main goal is to now go and get... Oh, 
it tells us what we're going to find in what place. Oh, oh, okay, that's quite good. So find the ring in the Stella Basin. That's coming up next. The necklace in the Twisted Strand and the watch in the Devil's Spine. Okay, so Stella Basin is next. Okie doke. Uh, which I think, yeah, is down there, isn't it? And it's marked on the map quite clearly. Oh, crab pots. Crab pots. Best go and get those as well. But um, yeah, we could just pop back down there and just see if we can catch a few more fish, possibly. Just grab a few more bits and bobs. And I wouldn't mind also, actually, go back to the map, looking for the photographer. Because somebody said, oh yeah, I saw the photographer on an island south of the Marrows. So, I mean, that because that's sort of potentially south of the Marrows. As is that, as is that, as are those, as are all of those. So it might be worth having a little look around these islands as well to see if we can find the photographer. But, hang on though, first up, let's head out to the crabbing pots because I think one of them is ready to be repaired, possibly. And then we'll drop that back out. And the other one might be quite full. And that's going to be quite good, because we have gone through a bit of cash. So here we go. Hello. Uh, oh, that's that's really, really busy. And it needs repair. Okay, so take all, and then pick up. Okie doke. And then head over to that one. That's definitely going to need repairing. Uh, yeah, take all, and then pick up and I think we have room for it. Okay right let's sell those on and then get the pots repaired. Hello there fishmonger only 96 monies for that okay that's not a great haul but never mind that's better than nothing I suppose and then we do need to go and repair the pots as well and then we'll drop them back out again so shipwright it's $40 to repair the pots. Do you know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay and then yeah let's go and put them back out. I mean let's put them back out maybe where they were or do we put them back out a little bit more over here? Uh, hang on, get the crab pots ready. So if we go over here, look, and maybe try and get as much depth as we can on these. So that's four ah, 11.4 meters. Okay, so drop one there, look. So there's the hardy crab pot. And then if we put the other one, I don't know, over... That's getting a bit shallower in that direction. Hang on a minute. Over here, that's 11.8. Hang on, reverse, reverse. Uh, about there. Yeah, drop that in there. Okay, so a couple of crab pots just outside the sort of rock safety net thing, but that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Right, so leave those there for a while, and um, yeah, I think, I think we now head over and have a look around these islands to the south. My only concern is if it gets a bit late, we might possibly end up sort of stuck, which could be a little bit of a bother. We might end up trapped out there, but I think, yeah, if we head over now, we should be okay. And of course, we do have the extra engine to make us go that little bit quicker. Right, so can we find, possibly, the photographer? There's a photographer somewhere around on these islands, and it would be good if we could find them, but I'm not entirely sure where they are. Um, however, that could be quite useful, because we need some wood to do some more upgrades. So let's grab that while we're here. Okay, three bits of wood, not too bad at all. There's something else over there, but it is going to get a bit late. What's that? That's scrap metal, I think. Do you know what? We'll pick up one bit. We'll grab one bit. Maybe a research part might come out of it. That'll be quite nice. But uh, yeah, let's do that, look. Um, no, it is just the scrap. And I think... Are we going to get got by the terrifying anglerfish boat monster? Yeah, okay, right. We're going to go home or go somewhere for a rest. In fact, do you know what? The, um, the uh, Collector's Island looks relatively near. So let's head over in that direction and hope that we don't lose our mind entirely by the time we get there because there are weird things appearing out there and it's all a bit strange. Hang on a second though, the Collector's Island around this side did have those weird rocks. What if we now touch them at night time? Can we do that now? Okay, so place our hand on the stone. It does not respond to our touch. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. I thought maybe it would work at night time, possibly. But okay, not to worry. Did I just crash the boat again a little bit? I might have just gently bumped it against some rocks. Uh, right, okay. The giant kind of terrifying boat anglerfish is over there. But we're going to pull in here for the night and just have a little bit of a sleep. Let's just have a little bit of a rest. And we'll continue the search for the photographer in the morning. Because we didn't really look too much just then. In fact, hang on. My storage, pop those over into storage. Thank you very much. Right, okay. The search for the photographer continues. Which direction do we go in? I think maybe let's head out to the east and look at those islands there because we haven't looked at those just yet, I don't think. So how about we head to the east and uh, yeah, look over there. What's over in that part of the world? We've not been there before. So let's go and have a little explore. Okay, there's something right in front of us. What is that? Hello? Um... 
Okay, there's something there. Is that a person or is that a statue? I'm not quite sure. What's that? Oh, you approach a hooded figure. Hello, spooky hooded figure. Swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. I'd say their face is invisible to us because that's just all entirely in shadow. Okay, fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. What does that mean, scary person? The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape on the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Okay, have we found a blue mackerel before? I'm fairly sure they're quite common. Uh, okay, hang on. Have we found a blue mackerel before? I think we have. Um, yeah, go to coastal. Yeah, blue mackerel. They're really common. They're very, very common, I think, aren't they? Oh, okay. Ooh, messages. Here's that one we didn't read. Oh, there's a message we didn't read. Oh, hang on. Did we pick that up last time? We might have picked that up last time. Oh, I know what happened. We picked that up, and then I went, oh, do you know what? We're going to read that later. And then we found the family crest of that other chappy, and then we didn't get around to reading that. Okay, right. So this is the tale of... I imagine these two people here. So yeah, the people who got married and the honeymoon was sailing around. Uh, but that is a little bit later on, the new one. So 9th of September, 1927. So what? That's about, what, two, three weeks have passed by? He still refuses to take me aboard when he is working. He is convinced I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I'm so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. Okay, so the chappy, I don't think we know his name. He's out there doing a lot of boaty work and he's leaving his new wife sort of behind. And he's ignoring her a bit. Okay, that's a little bit sad. It's a little bit sad, but okay. Uh, right, can we find a blue mackerel for that person? They're terribly hungry and they'd like a blue mackerel. Um, I don't think that is a blue mackerel. But you know what? We'll fish it anyway, because it could be quite good. Oh, yeah, it's a big... Oh, hang on. If we get that, that is a bronze whaler, but a fancy one. That might be worth a decent amount of money. That's going to be well worth having. And if we put that there, there's another one. Oh, crikey. Yes, please. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll have three of those. Because that's, that's some good money right there. We've made some good cash there. That's wonderful. There is something there as well. There's a boat. It's a crashed boat. A rotten mass lays down on this island, half hidden by foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Okay, what's inside the boat? Uh, oh, numerous bits and bobs. Right, bag of doubloons. We'll have that. Another research part. We'll take that. Um, and then we've got that. A uh, bolt of cloth. And that's kind of it. We can go and pick those up later. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think we might possibly have to head back to the fishermen because we've filled our sort of hold up with those giant fish. So let's go back and just sell those on because they will make a good bit of money. So let's just go back to the fisherman, uh, fishmonger, sorry, we're the fishermen. Go back to the fishmonger and sell them on for a little bit of cash. Okay, here we go. Pulling into Grey tomorrow. I'm hoping to get quite a lot of money from this. That's 321 monies. Absolutely, yes, that is wonderful. Right, so store that away, store that away, store that away. So storage looking a bit full again, but that's okay. That's not too much of a bother. However, can we now go into the dry dock? Uh, yeah, cargo spaces with two bits of wood. I think we can do that now. So pop that into there, pop that into there, buy that upgrade, and we've now got four more cargo spaces. Okay, where are they? Where are they now? Oh, look at the amount of room we've got. We can store many wonderful things. Okay, so what's the final thing? before we then can maybe work toward getting another hull upgrade. So, yeah, three rod spaces. Uh, it's 100 minutes. Do you know what? I think we can do that as well. We might as well do it because we're not using this stuff for anything else. So, do you know what? Let's pop a few of these bits in like that and then get the final bit of wood by the upgrade. And we've now got three additional rod spaces. Now, that is interesting. Hang on. So how's that been organised? Go to the shipwright. So now I've got a rod, three over there and two there. Um, because, yeah, I would like to buy a net. I'd like to buy a basic trawler net because a few people in the comments said they're really good. You just kind of swim around a bit and you catch fish 
just by moving around because of course you dangle the net out the back of the thing the only problem i can see is that the hydraulic rod is going to have to be removed to put the net in so we can't do any ocean fishing we can't have both those in at the same time i do not think which could be a bit of a nuisance um unless we can put that there somehow because they're fishing spots so that goes in there and then the flexible fishing pole goes somewhere else is there a smaller fishing rod that only oh yeah hang on. oh oh hang on a second coastal and shallow that can deal with coastal and shallow can the flexible fishing pole what do we have in storage that's small that can do coastal and shallow the sinewy spindle the boaty kind of uh, hook uh, rod thing we've got there that's made of sinew with a bit of bone on the end that's only two in size that could potentially if we take out the flexible fishing pole and then put the put the hydraulic rod in there and then put the horrible sinewy thing just there we could then possibly put a net in over there but then we are going to sacrifice fishing speed over there for the flexible fishing pole do you know what right now we're okay we're okay at the moment we've done plenty of boaty upgrades is everything looking good in here yeah it's all looking fine uh money is looking pretty good as well we could do with selling some of these trinkets on actually do you know what let's do that today let's do that right now shall we and four research parts what can we spend those on now we could unlock both of those two new rods we could unlock the heat resistant line and the anti-tangle line so then when we do need to go into either a place where there's a bit of volcano action or some mangrove action we can fit the right rod and we'll be ready to get that done engines not so bothered about those pots we've got one decent one and nets yeah i mean oh, look at that that's huge that's a huge big thing um i mean yeah we could we could get that but you know what no we're going to do that we're going to get both of those done we can unlock the secret of the heat resistant line so we can go fishing in hot water so the line doesn't melt and we can then unlock the anti-tangle line there we go so now that can yeah that's what does that do withstands um yeah sort of uh yeah, withstands snags and it's reinforced okay there we go so next up is a versatile rod that can do everything okay so really we want to save up four research parts more and then get that one that would make more sense wouldn't it fishing speed plus 82 percent my goodness me okay right so that's that done that frees up some more room in storage uh let's go and sell those three little things on shall we we might as well just you know, go and sell them on and get rid of them it's going to be fine there we go not much we'll get for them but it's better than nothing and then they're out of storage a returning customer please take this as a symbol of my appreciation i'm sure you'll find it useful says the jewelry trader okay are you going to give us a research part uh no the relaxed mind added to the cabin he pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you it's covered in dust but otherwise seems in good condition oh that's quite good because we haven't read a book for a while we've not been reading on our journey so that's quite nice uh right yeah can we please sell all of that stuff can we sell that to you so uh, yeah that's 55 and that's 25 and that's 750 but you know what better than nothing there we go wonderful and i did notice over there oh hang on hang on read the book read the book pen jet read that please um i did notice over there that yeah look at that we might be able to catch ourselves a mutated fish from over here we could possibly get one of those in so yeah just keep putting these down if we get a mutated one that would not be so bad for the old monies and there it is i think that's a new one as well that's a new one a sprawling jellied mass spills from a single eye socket what appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg that is uh, that's quite that's quite horrendous what an awful piece of mental theater you've portrayed there that's all a bit grim isn't it <laughs> whoever writes these is really good the descriptions of the kind of horrible fish are very very good it's really well written the stuff okay that's perfect because now i think we can head back home we're in the nice sort of safe base and i think get to us sell that on have a bit of a sleep catch one of the blue whatever it was blue mackerel things which i think are just there in the day and then we can give that to the mysterious sort of hooded figure who's a little bit hungry another 130 dollars that is very good so now we're back up to about 500 we've made some good money this time round. okay have a bit of a sleep that's taking quite a long time and then yeah i think yeah when we wake up it will be the squid will have gone so i think yeah we can go and catch 
Let's make sure we are catching the right thing. Uh, what was it? It was a blue mackerel. Yeah, they're over here, I think. I'm fairly certain that's a blue mackerel. So we'll just grab one for now. Just, yeah, boop and boop. There we go. It's a, yeah, it's a blue mackerel. So pop that up there. And, um, yeah, let's head over to that island then and hand that over to the hungry person. Hang on. Let's check the crabbing pots as we go by. Have you got some good stuff for us, crabbing pots? That's not too shabby. And that is also not too bad. Yeah, that'll do. We'll take that. Right, they were over there, weren't they? So let's head over there and go and give them this mackerel they were desperately hungry for. Although I think maybe the hunger's not just, you know, I'm a little bit peckish, I'd love some fish for dinner. I think it's a little bit more sort of, you know, slightly sinister and the hunger, rather than, ooh, I'd love a bit of fish for dinner. So, yeah, I think it's a little bit more sinister. But here we go. We'll, um, we'll hand it over to them momentarily. There are some fish down there as well. Hello, we've bought you some fish. Fulfill the hunger. But if I go and fill an old scroll. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We've got it. We're okay. So pop that in the right way round. With expert precision, they plunge their hands with the gullet to the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. I mean, that's a bit grim, isn't it? That's a little bit grim. You don't have to do that. You don't see that down the fish and chip shop. They don't do that when they're cooking your cod. Uh, more still empty. They point to the shape on a second scroll. It looks like a tiger mackerel. Oh, this is going to go on and on, is it? That's going to rumble on. Oh, okay, right. We're not going to finish that right now, I don't think. Uh, we will just pop around here, I think, and just pick up the remaining things over here because we left something behind. So, yeah, we'll take that with us. And, um, okay, where could this person be? Where are they going to be? There's a photographer around somewhere. Where is that? So they're not over there. Do we head more to the east and look at those islands? Is that where we go now? Do you know what? I think we do. Let's head out in that direction and have a voyage of discovery over this way. Okay, island just here. Doesn't look like anybody's on that at all. And in fact, it's a pretty boring island, to be fair. Is that some sort of exciting rock that we can go and poke at or something? No, that's just an entirely ordinary piece of rock. Okie doke. Right, are they over there? There's a shipwreck over there. There is a shipwreck, so maybe they're over here taking pictures. It would be good if they could, you know, sort of, I don't know, jump up and down or take pictures or we can see the flash or whatever, but, um, okay. I don't know. Let's pull into it. Okay, that, that ship is a giant monster. Okay, right, we're, we're just going to go away from the giant monster boat crab. Okay, that was, that was horrible, and I never want that to happen ever again. <laughs> Uh, we'd, we'd, we're just going to leave that alone. I'm just going to go away from that because that made me scared. And we're going to go round here instead. What's that? Some treasure there. Hang on, inspect that. A rotting chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. I mean, number one, make sure it's not going to come alive. It's not like a giant sort of hermit crab using the ship as its sort of shell, is it? Look inside. Oh, goodies. Absolutely, yeah. A silver trinket. That might be worth having. And a bag of doubloons. Got to love those doubloons. Um, any photographers? Any photographers? I don't think there are any photographers on this island. Doesn't look like it. Nobody on that one. Is it worth just checking around this side of the island? Just in case they're on this side taking lovely oceanic shots or whatever. No. Bother. Okay, so not over there. So maybe they're on those islands? Uh, right, what we'll do is, because it's a little bit late, we'll head down to the dusty pontoon. We'll go and chat to our lovely new friend. We'll just dodge around that to annoy that thing again. Hello. Ha ha, we're out of your hair already. Bye-bye. <laughs> we did that just to annoy it, really. Just, you know, wake it up a little bit. Um, yeah, if we head over in this direction toward the little thing, we'll rest up there. And then, yeah, we'll head back out in that direction and check out the islands over in that way, I think. Actually, while we're here, we might as well sell the crabs because they're just going to sit there and do nothing else. So, do you know what? Yep, sell those. That's good. And then also, we can get to our storage so we can drop the wood in over there and all those other bits and bobs as well. There we go. So the boat is now nice and empty apart from the things that we need it to have. Right, that's pretty good. Um, anything we want to do? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Um, well, hang on. 
Uh, shipyard. Oh, yeah, no, we can't do the actual upgrade bits, can we? We can't do that. We could buy the new lines. They're in, so we could buy the new lines if we wanted to, but I think we don't need them right now. However, you are selling two research parts. They're 350 a piece. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, that's quite expensive. And that refined metal is also very expensive. Okay, we'll pass on that for now, but at least we know they're there. Those things are available over here if we do come into a bit of cash. Okay, right, do you know what? Have a bit of a rest, and then we'll go and try and find the photographer in a slightly different direction. So, yeah, we looked at southeast, uh, Joe, up to now. We've kind of gone in that direction. So now let's look to the islands to the southwest of the Marrows. So maybe, I think we've checked that one out before. So head in that direction over there. And go and look at those ones. Is the photographer over on those islands? Or is this just some sort of silly wild goose chase type thing to make us go around the place and get attacked by sea monsters? I don't know, but let's check this island over here then. Oh, okay. There's signs of life over here. Hello? Are you a photographer by any chance? Is there anybody here? Uh, I can't see anybody. Okay, well, hang on a minute. Hang on. Try and dock. Dock over here. That could be quite handy. An expedition. It's the photographer. Okay. Hello, photographer. How are you? Oh, you've got amazing glasses on. They're enormous. That's wonderful. Um, uh, hello. Sorry. Would you step out of the way for a moment? You're in my shot. I do apologize. Sorry. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I love that old camera. That's very, very good. I like that. Yeah, I do wonder when this game is set. I'm not entirely sure what era this game is set because I don't think it's exactly modern. For example, that camera is not modern. And nobody's dressed in sort of overly modern things. I mean, the boat sort of looks okay. We do have a jet engine, but I mean, you know, jet engines were around a while back, weren't they? So I don't think it's exactly in modern times. But okay, we'll get out of the way. Sorry, you move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs in exasperation and mutters to herself. No, this simply won't do. Okay, what's the problem? The angle of this lens is all wrong. I'll never get a close-up shot of anything with this. And the others, I fear they were lost overboard. She sighs again and looks off to the west. I was sailing from the Stella Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through a narrow gap between two islands, and then I crashed into some coral. Don't worry, I crash into things all the time. It's fine. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were able to retrieve the lenses for me, uh, let's see. She rummages through what few belongings survived the trip. I have a spare camera here that I won't need. You're welcome to it if you can find those lenses. I'll mark on your map where I think I lost them. Okay. Maybe we could head out and have a look at that. Um, yeah, okay, it's over there. I mean, where they said it's south of the Marrows. I would say that island there is more west of Gale Cliffs. Right, I mean, it is south of the Marrows, but yeah, but it's nearer to those. So, there's an island around there. So there's an island quite nearby, or a couple of islands quite nearby. So which way are we going? Are we heading over to those islands? No, they're the wrong way. So we are heading in, what, that direction? Uh, no, that's, that's too near as well. So we're heading over in that, is that it? Are we heading right toward them? Yes, okay, right. So, yeah, we are getting into sort of more, like, tropical looking things. Because there's, like, palm trees and things. So we need to head through here. And she thought she was being chased. So maybe something might possibly be around here that could be a little bit sort of killy. Oh, crikey. It's, it's not good if you've got seasickness today. It, it's it's quite wavy out there. Right, so I think... Is that going to be it? Are we going to get eaten by something? Please, nothing eat us while we're dredging. Thank you. Right, okay. Get this done pretty quickly. Oh, botheration. Not like that. I'm not going to get it done quickly. Oh, I finished reading our book. That distracted me for a second. Um, okay, right. The book is done. And that's a goblet. Okay, that's good. We like a shiny goblet. That's wonderful. Oh, hang on. What's that? something there. Okay, a collection of cases are washed up against the shore. Some have already split open and lost their contents to the waves. Okay, maybe they fell out of her boat. Okay, look for valuables. Photography equipment. Okay, that's what we wanted. That's what we came for. There is a boat over there. There's a boat over there. Although right now, it's two o'clock. By the time we get over to that boat and look around and come back, it might be about five o'clock. And we do need to get back over there to the photographer. Um, okay, do do we go over there and have a look at that boat? Is it going to be a giant monster attached to a boat to try and trick us in? We're going that way. 
we're going that way. There's a shiny, exciting new thing to go and look at. And I want to go and see what it is. Yeah, look, it's kind of all... It's sort of deserty over here. It's a little bit different. And yeah, the sky's gone a bit sort of yellowy. But are you a giant monster? Are you a monster? I don't think it's a monster. Nothing's eating as yet, so I'm going to take that as a good sign. Right, okay, go to here. Ah, right, shinies, trinkets. We like these. Oh, crikey, but I can't dredge properly. I'm terrible at dredging. Right, so do this. This is quite fast. Right, get that done. Wonderful. That is some more doubloons. There's plenty of doubloons around. And, oh, oh, now there's something shiny over there. Okay, right, I'm going to go pick up the shiny thing. Come on, give me the shiny thing. Uh, oh, oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Collect that item. What, what's all that about? Why are there weird things in the water? Oh, there's a thing over there. What's all that about? Are they, oh, it's jellyfish. It's like multicolored sort of exciting jellyfish. Can we, oh, okay, th that one exploded. That one sort of put spores on us. Okay, right, we're just going to go away. We're going to go away. I don't know where we are. <laughs> Okay, this was a terrible idea. This was a terrible idea. We should have gone back to the photographer immediately. Photographer, where are you? There's the lighthouse. Um, Hang on, the lighthouse is there. Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Oh, no. Oh, no. Weird things are happening. We're freaking out. No, don't panic. Don't panic. It's all fine. It's all fine. This, it's all just doing settlers. It's okay. So if we go, there's the collector's island. So we need to head around here, I'd say. And it's... Over there is... Oh, there's a bit of land. Don't crash into the land. Uh, right, hang on. Pause time for a second. It's pretty much straight ahead, I think. Possibly. Maybe. Is it? Is it that one? Are we heading toward that island? Right, we've got full-on mega panic eye at the top now. Yeah, I think it's right in front of us. I think if we can just keep going over there, it's all going to be fine. It's very pretty up in the sky, look. That's quite nice to see. Look at that. Some lovely kind of exciting lights going on. I'm just trying to not look at the terrifying images in front of us. But yeah, it's very pretty. Apart from the horror. The encroaching, terrifying horror. Uh, <laughs> things are happening. Right, I'm just going to go over here. Hi. Hello. How are you? Can we have a hug, please? <laughs> we feel very, very scared. We've got your stuff, but we are in need of a bit of a hug. And some strong tea, if you've got it. You have the lenses. Oh, I do hope they've not been damaged by the seawater. She takes a case from you and inspects each lens carefully. They seem mostly unharmed. Nothing that some careful polishing can't remedy, at least. As promised, you should take my spare camera. The lens isn't special, but it should allow you to capture some good shots. Okay, so we've now got photo mode, is that it? If you wanted some advice on locating wildlife to photograph, just say the word. Oh, okay. So she can tell us about large fish, mammals, birds, or reptiles. I mean, large fish? I suspect you're more knowledgeable in this particular area than I am. There are a few shark species around, most notably the huge whale shark. They tend to prefer the warmer waters around Stella Basin. They're completely harmless, as I'm sure you know, but do be careful around them. You wouldn't want your propellers causing them any injury. Anything else? Okay, mammals. While still relatively scarce, I believe a few... I don't know how you say that. Cetaceans? That's whales and such. Can be found in the deeper waters around here. You might be lucky enough to spot a pod of bottlenose dolphins or killer whales. They've been known to swim alongside boats. As for the large whales, I've heard humpbacks, sperm whales, and even the odd blue whale have been sighted in the area. It doesn't surprise me to hear that their numbers have dwindled, what with Ingfell, uh, Ingfell's whaling endeavours. Hopefully their populations will recover in time. Okay, birds? You'll hear quite a wide variety of birds on from the islands, though I suspect they're all too small to spot from your boat. There's sure to be a few larger species, gulls and ravens, loitering around the more active docks looking for morsels of food. The ruins in Devil's Spine. That sounds like a very welcoming place. Host a few breeding pairs of seahawks. You're bound to hear them calling for each other, though they're quite elusive. Anything else? Okay, finally, reptiles. I'm glad you asked. Not many consider reptiles when they think of the ocean. It was just the final option, that's all. Loggerhead turtles are a common sight in the temperate waters around the Marrows and Gale Cliffs although they can be quite hard to spot in the water. I don't think I've seen a turtle. When it comes to large reptiles, they don't get any bigger than saltwater crocodiles. The mangroves of Twisted Strand are perfect for them. Okay, well, that's good. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. We can leave. Right, we've now got a camera. So how do, what do we do with that? Then? Hang on, go back to the cabin for a second, because what was the thing we unlocked? Relaxed mind. 
10% resilience to panic. That's actually quite good. I mean, that didn't help too much then. We are completely panicking right now, but there we go. Right, pursuit-wise, so we're back here. Oh, yeah, catch a tiger mackerel for that person. Don't know where to get those. And um, another message that we picked up. Um, hang on. So that is 9th September. Oh, yeah, these aren't in order. Hang on, 14th September. Can we go back see it in order? So 21st of August, no, 20th, 21st, 9th September was where they were saying that, uh, yeah, she can't go on board. And then 14th of September, so what's that, five days after that previous one, it says, I have not written in a few days. I've been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run from some lines here and they are illegible. Okay, right, so we can't read some stuff. While most of what they hold up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalising discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. They pried it open. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Oh, that's a bit chilling, isn't it? In his eyes, I saw the void. Oh dear. Okay, what was in it? Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. Does that mean blood? Was it a box full of blood? And it looked like cloth coming out, but it was actually full of blood? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I like all that. That's very intriguing. Uh, okay, right. That's all good. I think what we'll do is then, we'll have a nice rest over here with the photographer. They can give us a hug. And with that done, I think we'll finish things up for now. We'll wrap things up for the moment, but we have done quite a lot of stuff. I wouldn't mind having a little poke around these islands here because we're right down there. So just you know, go around the edges and see if there's anything worth grabbing or dredging up or whatever. And then maybe we'll head back home and we'll check out the crabbing pots. Uh, and then maybe we'll check if we can get a, whatever the next thing was that the chappy over wherever it was there wanted, the hungry person. We'll see if we can get their thing, but then it might be worth heading over to the Stellar Basin to see what's going on over there. It looks like we go through there, look, and we can have a little look around there. I think we can get in here. What are these lines? Are they just indicating the kind of the depth of the ocean or something? So maybe around there it's quite deep. I don't know, but uh, yeah, maybe that's worth doing. So yeah, we just want to pop into there and just see what that's all about. I imagine we'll have some more bits and bobs to do because, you know, that's the next kind of story bit. So that's going to introduce us to all sorts of new people and places and characters and things to do and side quests and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think we needed this part today. I know it's not been sort of you know, wildly exciting as the previous part. We did a lot of stuff in the last part, but I think we had to get it done. We had to go and get some improvements done and upgrade the boat and, you know, just do a few little bits and bobs. So I think that was quite good. But yeah, next time we might just poke our nose over into the Stellar Basin and see what that's all about. And then just have a look around these islands here as well. Just sort of have a proper look around the south of the map as far as we can do anyway. So that's what we'll do. But we shall do all that kind of stuff next time out. We'll finish things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Dredge. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. It's got spinny bits on it. It's got wooshy bits coming out of the spinny bits, wibbly, wavy, round science cylinders. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. It's not a good day for science. It's not a good day to be a scientist. It's almost like I shouldn't be put in charge of running a gigantic spaceship that is the last hope of mankind.